So here's how to use a template um, using the sample spring mini template from my shop, um, Maria B Photoshop on Etsy, to show you how you adjust a template in Photoshop. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have downloaded the free fonts listed in the listing of the template that you've purchased so that when you go to edit um, on your computer, it doesn't make the template get all messed up because you don't have those fonts downloaded. So look in the listing of what you purchased. I've always put in the font that that is used in that template and then you can look it up and download it. Um, online. So after you've done that you can open it in Photoshop and I recommend opening also alongside it the images that you plan to use and it's really easy to do um, to put an image into the template you can click right on the, the box um, or the mask that you would like the picture to go in so a really easy way to see which layer that you're working on is to go here to the little eyeball box and um, if you click on it, it will show you which layer that is. So um, I want to put a picture here on the right photo mask. So I just have that highlighted and then I go to my image that I want to use there and I just um, select the layer that the image is on and drag and drop them and immediately just go right in. Um, if you don't do that and the, the picture ends up on top, all you have to do is take that layer and drop it. See where I wrote drop photo below? That's literally what you do. You just drop it there. And, um, and then you can go to edit um, free transform and you can type it in here. Um, if you click on this little lock link button, it keeps the proportions the same or you can just drag the corner and keep the shift key down and do it like that, hit enter, and there you go. Um, to change colors, I like to add the pictures and then adjust the colors accordingly to match. This picture actually matches pretty well, but if I wanted to change it, again, um, here I have the background layer. You know, you can just use the, the paint bucket tool and do a little eyedropper and just paint paint in the colors. Um, this center color block is actually separate, so you could essentially um, do the same thing there, like, I don't know, whoops, wrong layer. Do that, or Another way to change the color is to double click and you get the layer style menu that pops up and you can click on color overlay and then go to, you know, you can use the eyedropper or just pick whatever color you like. Um, you can do this to match the colors to your brand or to the pictures that you're using so that it looks nice and fluid. Um, I put a lot of things on separate layers so that you can hide them or show them whenever you like. Um, that way you can customize it to fit you. And that's it. It's pretty simple. And um, if you're going to have this, save this as, make sure you don't flatten it. And save it, save as if you want to, if you want to flatten it for whatever reason, um, so that you don't lose the template, um, or make sure you have the original saved somewhere safe. And that's how you use it.